Hello everyone, True Zero Emissions here. I'm practicing sitting down and seeing if I can go faster. I don't know what my limits are for going fast. So I could crash right now. The wind's pushing me pretty hard. But I'm trying to see how fast I can go. What I'd like to do is be able to keep up with people when I ride in groups and they sit down, like especially when they're like an 80 mile ride or a 100 mile ride. The legs, our legs can get very tired. I want to recommend to you a, a leg a muscle massager called the Hypervolt. That's what my physical therapist uh, agency uses, if that's the right word, agency. That's what they use and it works really well. I don't know how many speeds theirs have and they make them in a three speed and a five speed. And I think the five speed might be more watts. I think the three speed is 60 watts and the five speed is, is 90 watts please double check that for yourself but more power I think is better because it's uh, it's always better to have more power more available if you just in case you need that okay we're going down this hill there's a rut I don't know whether to avoid it or ride right in the middle of it I think I'll avoid it since the ruts are the the specific cause of my crashes over the weekend all my crashes were because I got stuck in a rut and slid down the hill I cannot see right now I can't see the road at all because I got sunglasses on. Okay, now I can see a little bit. Wow, that was. I sh I've only I only did that because I I have been through there before. But if I have not been through there before, I wouldn't have just gone through like that. Because like, what if there was a hole there? <laughs> but I just went through there a couple weeks ago. But it's not wise to do that. I should look. Oh wow, look at this. I think that's the haunted. Uh, the haunted event here at Griffith Park. Really neat. Okay, I'm gonna sit back down. Wonder if this event's going right now, if it's open. So I'm gonna say that my health has improved much, much, much since I've been riding an electric unicycle. Um, when I first started riding, I compared it to Hell Week, which is actually several weeks. In high school, when I played football, I was a fullback and tailback. I played both those positions. And um, I was extremely strong. I could bench press at that time 285 pounds once. I used to warm up with 250 pounds. I could bench it 10 times. That's the free weights, bench pressing. And I wasn't big. I, 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 you know, If you've seen pictures of me, I, I'm not a big person. But I used to look at Bruce Lee and say, well, he's not big and look how strong he is. So I knew the human body was capable, special, special thanks to Bruce Lee, that it was capable of things that are unimaginable. And um, I didn't want to be have really big muscles, but I wanted to be really strong. And that's what I focused on. And I'm also a person that likes de-escalation, so you won't ever see me fighting. Unless it's, unless it's an absolute requirement. But I really prefer not fighting. Uh... I wrestled in school and I used to wrestle I think two classes above mine for practice and I could pin those guys they were big too but they it's, I had a lot of strength in my legs I, I used to squat 500 pounds um, I think several times and uh, I could bench press 285 like I said I only weighed 135 at that time so I was benching more than twice my weight I think or, yeah, let's see, uh, 135 and 135. Is this car letting me go? Nope, go ahead. Ah, oh, losing my balance. Thank you. Okay. So here we are. Let's do a little jump. We've made it to the park. And uh, I want to encourage people to be strong, as strong as they can. And if you want to put bulk on, like big, I don't know that I would recommend that because um, there was always jokes about people that couldn't wipe their own butt and stuff like that. You ever heard that? Sorry to bring that subject up, but I'm telling you the truth. Some people can make their, their body so big that they can't reach, you know, they can't even reach, part, you know, like their back and stuff. Like they can't reach around and reach, move their, their body that well. So... I would say definitely, 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 you know, if you want to do the Bruce Lee strength, that kind of strength, where you're not real big, but you're really, really strong, 
I think everybody could benefit from that. Um, and there's a different kind of exercising, which my understanding, even though people disagree with me, I was taught lots of repetition, doing lots of repetitions. So lightweight, lots of times, right? And uh, what's this path? Let's see if I could take this one. There's a dog, I hope he doesn't attack me. So that's what I was taught. And if you do heavy weight a few times, that makes bulk. That makes the muscles big, right? That's what I was taught. So I'm not a trainer. I'm not, I haven't kept up on all the other steps here. I guess we're ending that right now. And I, I, um, but it, you know, if you want to live a long, healthy life, I think exercise is important. And think about what's coming into the body. What are you feeding yourself, right? Now, there are people that just eat fruit. So think about fruitarian as an option that flushes your system out. It flushes the cancer out. There's also, uh, now some people say, oh, too much sugar, too much sugar. I've been, I was taught that processed sugar is entirely, completely different than um, fruit sugar. I was taught that. So, you know, we're not talking about eating candy. We're talking about eating um, fruit. You know, if you're eating fruit. And there's a difference. That's what I was taught. But if you have diabetes or something, then I've heard of people getting diabetes reversed through the surgeries where they take the weight off. Is it called tummy tuck? I was just talking to a gentleman that went through that. He said, make sure that if someone does that, because I know someone that wants to, that's considering having that done, or that wants to get it done, you have to have someone there that can take care of you. So while you're recovering, you can't do it yourself. That's what I was told. By someone that went through it but yeah that person had diabetes they reversed it they don't have diabetes anymore so taking care of our health to an extreme degree right i'm going through scalar light treatment right now tom palladino and i plan to stay with that for life that's my plan um, they have many different kind of uh, plans that are specific to your needs there's also just a general you know well-being uh, plan which can help right in many ways so uh, when I started the free trial I noticed I was feeling better and I also could see more clear because my eyes were a little bit blurry up close like I couldn't focus closely now I'm not saying that's gonna happen for everybody but uh, you know but I would I would recommend trying it out I was familiar with scalar light through uh, Nikola Tesla because he was experimenting with that and Tom Palladino continued the work of Nikola Tesla in terms of um, the scalar light research and an application meaning practice so uh, yeah go for it definitely try the free trial at least why not right I'm not really sure where I am right now or where this goes but let's see is this is this okay thank you looks like they might be making a movie or something but it's still open to the public I guess it's so nice here Movies are really exciting. The hours are really long, and uh, but it's fun to make things, right? I did a lot of volunteering in movie, like for schools and things. Volunteering in schools to help on sets to learn to learn about learn more. And uh, they say don't hinder the crew. That's it. You can work hard, but don't take. You can give, but don't take. Right? That's the idea. They didn't say it like that, but that's what they're saying. So if you can contribute and not take away from their focus, if you can contribute to their focus, then you'll definitely be welcomed as, a, as someone that contributes to what they're doing. I mean, you know, you have to, it's on a case-by-case -case basis, but like they say, there's more, there's many ways to do something, right? There's more than one way. So if you want to get into film, there's many ways to do that. Some people say, oh, it's just impossible to get in. It's impossible. 
well, if you accept that and, that and you don't keep trying, one of my teachers used to say, you have to be where luck can find you. Right? You have to be where luck can find you. What do you think about that? Be where luck can find you. L-U-C-K, right? Luck. I think I spelled it correctly. I'm not the greatest speller, but uh, I'm big on meaning of words. But I'm not going to tell someone they're saying they're using the wrong word. I, I don't get into that. What I want to do is I want to know what what the word means to someone. What are they? What's the meaning of what they're saying? What they're what are they trying to say? I'm interested in the meaning. I think Rick Friedrich YouTube channel also talks about that. It's like what's the meaning of what we're trying to say, right? Okay, let me think about where I am right now and how to get back into a trail. Somehow I came down. I think I know where to go to get back into a trail. They have a lot of trucks for the movie they're working on. Who knows if it's a movie, if it's a commercial, you know, what it is exactly, who knows? I don't know. They have hikes up here in groups with the, um, I think it's called the Sierra Club. And you have to sign a paper or something that says you understand that you're responsible for yourself. And <laughs> I think that's, if I recall correctly, that's how it works. Okay, so let me try to think about the trails we took, I took with the group here. They came, where did they go? We parked there, we came this way. I'm not sure I can get the electric unicycle up, up on these paths, but I'll try. It's funny because I didn't see any path, but now that I know where I am, and I used to hike up here with that group, with the Sierra Club, I'm thinking to myself, there's a path right over here somewhere. I must have passed right by it without even seeing it. Is there somewhere I can cross here? Okay. I think there's a path to my right. The right you can go up. I'm not sure though. I don't see it. I don't remember it being this far. It could be behind one of these trucks, too. One of these trucks could be blocking the... I don't think they are, though. They wouldn't... I don't think they'd do that. Especially if it's a popular path. But let's see if I can find it, though. There should be a trail up here somewhere. Like an opening in the fence. Yeah, here it is. This is it. This is the path I was thinking of. See, I wouldn't even have known to look for this if I didn't recognize that area over there as a place I've been before. <laughs> okay, so I recognize all this. Now, I think I'm limited on how far I can go on this one, but let's go ahead and explore it. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to be practicing my sitting down right now. Um, yeah, let me do that. I'm going to sit down again. Sitting down. And I'll still try to go fast sitting down. How about that? I might need to lean this back a little bit because when I go uphill, I'm leaning forward a lot, which I like when I'm standing up. But sitting down, I think I'm still getting used to it. Maybe it's okay. I just feel like I'm going to slide forward at minus three degrees because I have the unicycle set to minus three, which on this electric unicycle, and it may be all the same, but this one minus three means forward. It means it's leaning forward three degrees. I think it's degrees, but it says three, minus three. And I think it is degrees too. Okay, here we go. We're going, going at a pretty good pace right now. Oh, where does this go? It stops. Wow. Oh, no, does it stop? Oh, no, it goes up here. Can I go up there? You can't tell, but this is pretty steep. It looks like it turns into kind of a trail. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Now, if I pedal clip something, my unicycle can go flying, rolling down the hill. I may not even find it. I need to, like, put a tracker on it where it can show me where it's at. Boy, we are exploring right now, aren't we? 
I wonder if this looks as interesting to you on the camera as it does to me seeing it in person. Wow, we're really on a small trail here. I have no idea where I'm going, and I also don't know if I can go back down this. Okay, go right. Oh, gotta stop. What am I getting myself into? Oh boy. That's a step up. I don't know if I could do it, but I'll try. Oh, I did it. But then I stopped afterward. Whew. Okay. This is really steep. I'm not sure I can take off from a stop. Uh, take off from a stop here. Yeah, there we go. Another step up, but this one doesn't look like something I want to risk. I don't know if the pedals would clear that. Nope, they hit. See that? Now if I went... The, what I don't know is if this trail gets better or worse as I continue. Like, I don't know if it's going to lead to a road or something. My glasses are fogging up. Maybe I'll just sit down. I don't know if I can sit down. Let's try it. Let me try sitting down doing this. Gene and I did this once where we, uh, he and I were going on this path. I don't know if I had that recorded or not. I think I do. But it was so steep. It, it looked like steep, steep, steep. Okay, I'm sitting down. Going on this little trail. I have no idea where it goes. I am glad I have an off road tire though. Okay, now what? Oh boy. I think I'm gonna turn around. I went so far already. But it's just, it's not getting, it's like, it keeps having those rocky step ups. And uh, I don't want to keep doing that. This trail's not maintained very much. Because it's very low. You have to duck down a lot. Okay, I'm going to see what time I'm supposed to meet with the group tonight. I'll be right back in a couple seconds. Stop recording. Stop recording.